Okay, so a dozen more entered. 43. All right, so let's let's get this. Let's try to get top 3, see what we get. I'm guessing confetti is the new the new thing here. Polovsky. So, all right. We're going to have a move. A non-mover to start. And I'll take a quick W. We've got 20 seconds to make the first move. No way. Oh, back to tournament and just like that. We got a W in there. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, man. All right. That's a that's a great start. All right, we're going to get a mover. A mover. All right, open Sicilian. Let's go straight in for an exchange. Let's strike at e5 right away. Whoa. Preparing that, are we? A little scary. I should have played queeny one. Yeah. No good, man, no good. You're going to go queen h4. I have to give up the exchange already. Sad. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting baited on h2. Oh man. So sad. So sad. Am I somehow weaseling out of this? <laughs> oh, man. Wow. I didn't want to do that. You better fly, man. I got a tricky night. It's extra tricky, man. Extra tricky. Got the pawn. No trades, man. No trades. That knight's covering everything. You got this, man. You got this. I had the rook. They're down on time. Oh, my God. Oh, man, I was sweating so bad. A mate on H2 was staring at me. I just, I was just ready to float my mouse over there and just resign. <laughs> yeah, you're going to want to rethink that, uh, that opening, buddy. I'm talking to myself. Um, the buddy here in this case is me. Wow. <laughs> Made on H2. Oh, I'm just getting forked now. I guess that wasn't their plan all along. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> wow, what's this infatuation with D3? <laughs> I don't understand. Holy cow, pieces are dropping left and right. Oh my goodness, there goes another one. <laughs> I don't have any answers. I don't have any answers. Here. Made on D2. There we go. Back to tournament. We got eight. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. 95 players. Where did that come from? People get word of this surprise, uh... This new thing that happens if you get top three? <laughs> We're gonna see. Alright, let's let's hit the queen here. I guess there's no time for a bishop f four. Let's castle. Let's not get mated on h two or even be in a position where that could happen. Man, that was scary. Getting some material now. 
Um, let's take that. Actually, I want to make sure I keep my light square bishop. He is just too valuable to give up. Let's go for a queen trade. Occupy the d file. Let's secure my knight post first. Yeah. Let's just double up. I have pressure on b5, which makes uh, a5, b4 stuff difficult. I'm okay with a queen exchange. Bishop here. Oh, interesting. Let's let's do that. Get the material back. Let's sneak over. I don't know about that. My rooks are struggling to do stuff. Uh, let's just... Oh, they were too quick to move there. Now we're up a full rook. If the knight moves, I've got this. Prove the king. Uh, we got this. They resigned back to tournament. Whew, okay, we got 12. 12, 8, 8. And fire. Less than 20 minutes left. Okay. And we have a Scandinavian opening. <laughs> I have to say opening. I've uh, received a YouTube comment once. I, I said it like that, and then uh, someone is like, that player isn't Scandinavian. <laughs> No, the opening, man, the opening. The opening. All right, so the queen's having a tough day. They're going to have a follow-up fork. They could get this guy back, but I'll rip the heart out of their structure. Kano, where is he at? Uh-huh. So let's continue with an attack. I want to get at that 87 pawn. I'm going to take here and eliminate him. Let's just do this. Get the queens off. Let's ask him a question. Actually, I could mate with a knight on c6 now that my pawn is defended, so this is serious. They're defending against that. I'm threatening mate. Bishop h2 is a move. I'm on the bishop. They missed the mate. Back to tournament. 16, 10, 10, 8. Many eights. Okay, 114 are entered in this one. There were 31 just a little bit ago. Okay. Mmm, this guy's flying. Hmm. Very, very fast. I'm too afraid of a sacrifice on h6. Prepare to give this guy up. Let's grab that dark square bishop. Uh, let's break at the dark squares a little bit. Maybe get to the c file. Let's reposition my knight. Uh, let's take here, actually. And then here. And then here. Here. <laughs> knight here. I could still move uh, my queen and defend the knight. We're going to have a messed up structure. I want to make sure the queens are off the board. So even pretty much on the clock. Just a matter of uh, converting this fast. We're entering. We have a fantastic structure. Pile up. Grab this guy next. I'm going to try to hunt him down. I have a five second lead. Uh, rook f4. Simplify. Get a runaway pawn. Let's not allow the rook to get active. And just keep pushing him. Get behind him. 
I almost missed that they uh they moved there. No, no stalemates. They're down on time. Back to tournament we go. Okay, that guy was really flying early on. 20, 14, 12, 12 is where we're at. 120 are now in this one. 15, less than, less than 16 uh, left in this one. All right, let's, let's try D5. Uh, okay, let's get C5 in the mix. Okay. Bishop f5, e3, some simple stuff. Let's get on a file that is soon to be open. And right here. Seems more active, huh? And I could look to expand on the queen side now. The b4. a5, b4. Play in the side where I have some space. And knight e4 is a good follow-up. This pawn is in a pin. I could look to a breakthrough on that point. Maybe not a bad idea. I could still try for it, even though it's not hitting with check. This comes to mind now. Playing on both wings. It's a pretty committal move, but I'm going to do it. Just to flush him out of there. I'm going to take with the rook, because I want him to enter next. I'm winning some material now. Definitely take with the f-pawn. Um, let's just back up. I could win the queen if they took. I had bishop h2, knight g3. I could win this pawn. Uh, let's just kick him out of there. If I did this, knight d4 just helps to, helps him to improve. And let's just double. I have a ton of pawns. Break down this structure. Tsunami of pawns. Tsunami of pawns in the chat. We have a tsunami of pawns on board right now. And we're getting the queen. They're down on time. Back to tournament. 24, 16, 14. 128. Less than 14 minutes left. I got many games in. Of course, I was helped with uh, that game one, another Scandinavian opening. Okay. This is another uh, another approach to not uh, be too quick to uh, play your knight to c3, of course. In the end, I guess I ended up doing that, huh? Trying to take advantage of the king. Um... Yeah, let's go here, and then here. Pin the knight in an open position. Pins are that much more uncomf uncomfortable. So how are they weaseling out of that? Let's avoid the queen exchange, get the other rook here. I think their queen will find it more difficult to find a safe square. So potential, well, there's a bishop pin. I could take their queen now, but they get me back. I'm on their queen again. Could take their bishop on knight takes knight, or here. Um, I don't think it's working out. The king could run to e7 if I tried for that, I think. So I'm going to win something still, I believe, yeah. The knight was boxed out by my bishop. They resigned back to tournament. 28, 20, 16, 16. 12 minutes, 12 seconds left. 131 in this one. All right, Huck. We have a French on board. Um, an advanced French where I'm up a tempo, actually. Because this guy is going to have to spend another move to get to c5. I guess they're going to trade light square bishops soon. They would be dropping a piece if they did that. Now their dark squares are having a tough day. My plan here is to get rid of their dark square bishop. And then drop a, drop a knight into f6. They're threatening a skewer. Let's go here to reinforce d4. I'm anticipating that that will be a focal point. I definitely want to keep queens on. Okay, phase one. Dark square bishops are gone. My worst piece is this clown here. 
So let's get him working in to e5. He hits here with tempo. And we got everything covered. All my base points are covered. My queen guards all of these pawns. Queen on g7 would be nice. Okay, look to get to the seventh rank. Let's get him out of there. Let's uh, ask him another question. In between her. If you get to the seventh right away, I don't see any reason not to go straight in for that. Okay. Probably feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Um, let's do this. Not quite sure what this move is doing. A queen on e5 would be nice. Could take here. I don't know. Is it necessary? Queen on e5 soon? Let's just get the queens off. And they don't have any time either. They're down on time. Yeah, that was tough. Uh, very, very difficult to work around that night. He found good homes. A lot of uh, holes, dark square holes, and they were without their dark square bishop. All right, let's try Sicilian. Open Sicilian, Nidorf. Okay, not e5 in this case. Let's go b5, b4. Uh, there's no reason I shouldn't take with the bishop there. Um, <clears throat> let's let's pull him back. Have to be a little bit cautious of a sacrifice here and then here. I have this square covered at least with the piece. Prepared to give him up. I must give him up. Defending the rook. A knight on c4 would be quite good. Coupled with a5, a4. Don't want a castle. Okay. Oops. Queen trade. Guess we're going to get that in there, huh? Okay. Let's get active. Pigs are officially on the second. Oh, boy. Got mate coming up, or do we? Close. Probably could have done better here. Bishop on d4. That's what we're gunning for. And then discoveries. Actually, this, I think, is an idea. Now they're going to push. No, they didn't. They got mate next. They needed to push there. Ooh, stay away from that <laughs> check mark. <laughs> they offered a draw by mistake, I imagine. Uh, yeah, they resigned, but I was ready to click on that arrow, thinking it was like the back to tournament button, or the return to tournament. Okay, if they go with d3, I'm going to hold off on castling, because I don't want to allow for the typical e5 and then kill my king tactics. I guess here... No, I shouldn't have done that. I need to keep the square open for my knight. Yeah, that was a bit silly. Maybe queen needed to come back home. They're going to push the pawn. Let's rule that out altogether now. This maneuver is uh, ruled out. Let's advance. Yeah. Let's go queenside. And maybe even take once more. Queen g4, bishop h4 stuff. I'm going to keep my dark square bishop. He's pointing at g3 now. They're very sensitive on the dark squares. He's dropping, and bishop on e3 would be killer. He's weaseling in there. They have to give up the exchange at least. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, there goes the queen. And queen g4 just... What is with that... Uh, Oh, they were being sneaky. Oh, I'm going to be trolled now. <laughs> uh, everyone knows my instinct is to just quickly come over there and uh, click on something. We got 40. Less than 7 minutes left. 40, 29, 28, 25. 149 are in this one. 
Let's try with E4. Oops. I had to uh, adjust my mouse pad there. Let's take again. Yeah, I already played this guy. Is this the same? This is the same guy. The one where I lucked out? Yeah, let's look now. Right now is a perfect time to look, during the game. Similar to what you did uh, in trying to change your settings that one time. During a game. Wonderful timing. You've got wonderful timing. Alright, let's get a flight square and rule out my major pieces from coming here. Uh, they gotta go back to f6. Don't drop your bishop, he's important. Bishop g4 now. Queen e3. Let's hit the queen. Wow. In betweeners. Let's double up. Seize control of this file. We could do a push. I'm on the a5 pawn, but this move scares me. Alright. We're going to do this first. Uh, yeah, I should have offset their knight. He's scary, man. There's no way around. It's just how it is. He's scary. Whew. Yeah, he's just continually throwing punches. Okay, I want an outside pass pawn really soon. I have a time edge. Save him. We got this now. Pre-move that, actually. Let's keep going with him. They timed out. Back to tournament 44, 29, 28, 155 players. Four minutes and change. It's looking like we're going to see this uh, surprise ending. Some kind of new... something fancy. I guess something different happens if you get top three. Okay, we have a pawn. An extra pawn on c4. Let's look to open up this bishop's eyes at the right moment. I don't want to do it too quick because they can meet c5 with d5. I want to make sure these guys are exchanged. Or I'd like that to happen. Knight into here would be good. This will officially break them up. Oh. I guess they missed that I was on the bishop? Get him next. Number one priority. This pass pawn. Knight e5. And then c5. Let's go here, actually. Defend this guy. Knight here, and then scoop him up. Let's go straight in for this. I have my back rank covered. There's nothing going on with this. Their knight is having a tough day. Let's defend this pawn. Create a flight square with g6. Offset this file. He's now passed. Yeah, back rank issues if they capture. Let's enter. Let's defend this pawn for one more move. I guess they could kick him away, huh? Let's enter. Queen here was better. I'm threatening f2 with that. Oop. Okay. Um, I guess we could push. That was a silly move by me. They're down on time. Back to tournament. 48, 2 minutes, 2 seconds left. 48 with fire. 29 is next. 28, 159 in this one. Okay. Let's see what we got. I guess this is going to be the last one. Try to get 52 points. All right, where's the queen going to go? Hmm. Oh, I should have asked him a question first. There's nothing here for me. It's just a nothing type position. Well, I could maybe try to inject 
some life into it with the structural change. Avoid the knights. Queen g4, knight f6 stuff. And then mate on g7, rook up and over. He's going to try to go here. Let's do this right away. And then this move next. Yeah, it wasn't really the right idea, was it? <laughs> um, rook up and over. Yeah. Quit bothering me, man. This was so silly. How I'm playing this right now is silly. Look at my queen. Terribleness. Terribleness. King and pawn ending. They only have four seconds. They're down on time just before the game, the tournament clock ended. What is this? What's the ending here? Oh, there it is. <laughs> First place confetti. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I haven't seen this in so long first place confetti look at it it's just going away slowly <laughs> that's pretty cool man oh man the top three get to see that I guess first place confetti <laughs> oh, cool uh, in the end, 162 were entered in this one. I had 52, 29 was next, another 29, 28, etc. Alright, let's go through all the pages, and I know I still haven't adjusted it so that uh, the number 10 guy is seen as I cycle through, but... Alright, we'll get to see the majority. <laughs> It's two, three, a lot of pages to go through. In the end, 162. And somebody on YouTube informed me after how many tournaments I've put out there on YouTube competing in tournaments. Someone finally said to me, you know when you say good games all... You know, you're always, you're including yourself when you say good games, like, to the 162 of you good games all. Really, it's to the 161 of you. Somebody was, someone was being super technical, weren't they? To the 161 of you good games all. All right.